Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on ratios. Uh, so this is the second video on this topic. We'll cover a couple more skills in this video, starting with scaling ratios. So in this example, meringue is made by mixing cups of egg whites and cups of sugar in the ratio 3 to 7. How many cups of sugar are needed if 12 cups of egg whites are used in the mixture? Uh, so when we scale a ratio, uh, what we do is we scale both uh, parts of the ratio, or as many parts as there are, by a common factor. Uh, so that's the scale factor. Uh, so we have to work out what that scale factor is. Uh, so if we have 12 cups of egg whites uh, and the ratio is 3 to 7, then if we divide 12 by 3, that will give us the scale factor. So that's 4. Uh, so now we just need to multiply the other part of the ratio by the same factor, and that will give us how many cups of egg whites. Oh, sorry, cups of sugar we need. Uh, so that is 4 times 7, which is 28. Uh, so we need 28 cups of sugar. Uh, so just for the sake of completion, uh, let's just write out the full ratio that's been scaled up. Uh, so if we have 12 cups of egg whites and 28 cups of sugar, the ratio is 12 to 28. So moving on, uh, the next skill we'll look at is part to whole ratios. So part to whole ratios can be a little bit confusing and that's because instead of representing the ratio in terms of one part uh, to another part, it's represented in terms of one part to the total number of parts, uh, which is otherwise known as the whole. So in this example, Adam has some apples and oranges in his bag. The ratio of oranges to fruit in his bag is 2 to 7. Uh, so in this example, oranges is a part and fruit represents the whole. So for part A, what fraction of Adam's fruit are oranges? Uh, so now we're just expressing one part in terms of the total. And if fruit is the total and oranges is the part, then uh, the answer to part A is 2 sevenths, uh, because 2 parts oranges to 7 parts in total. So for part B, what is the ratio of oranges to apples? Uh, well, we know how many oranges he has. Of, of the seven parts in total, two of them are oranges. So that means the number of apples is seven minus two, which is five. Uh, so now we can express the ratio of oranges to apples, seeing as though uh, the parts oranges are two and the parts apples are five. Uh, so the answer to part B is two fifths. Now understanding ratios is a really important skill for your exam, so if you want to get some practice then you can have a go at our online exam, it's available through our revision platform, and if you take the test you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one. So this will allow you to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at and where you need to improve, and so if you're interested then click the link below, it will take you straight there.